Hello, I am Dragos and in this video we are going to see how we can deploy a static website like Astro on a VPS server. There are a lot of free alternatives that can help us have our static website hosted like Cloudflare Pages or Netlify and uh, things like that. But uh, there are cases where we want to host ourselves our static website and uh, in this video we are going to go to the steps that we need to do and have the website hosted. We're gonna use Cloud Panel to host our static website and we're gonna do that on a Hesner VPS. So let's go and see exactly what we need to do and have this website hosted. This is the article that we're gonna follow. We have our static website Astro deployed on a VPS server. So I've written in here all the steps that we need to do to have this done. So this uh, static website, we use Cloud Panel to, to host the, the website. I've already created a video tutorial with all the steps that you need to do to install Cloud Panel. So I will let the link into the description and I will use Hasner as a VPS provider that uh, will help me host this uh, VPS. So let's go and uh, see what we need to do and uh, have this website uh, hosted. So the first thing that we need to go and do is to add our website to the Cloud Panel installation. So in here we have the Cloud Panel installation. I will hit the Add Site. So this is a static website that we're gonna install, Astro. So we're gonna use the create a static HTML website and in here we need to add our domain. I have a domain in here that I will gonna add. This is the site user or the OS. We need to, to know it. And this is the site password that we are gonna set for the OS also. So I will hit create. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you are enjoying the tutorial. In case uh, you like what you are seeing, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Let's go back and continue with the tutorial now. Okay, so right now we have our uh, website added in here and the next thing that uh, we should do is uh, to point the DNS to our, uh, to our uh, website. So Cloud Flare is the DNS provider. I have here the website, Zika.ro, and in here we go to the DNS. And in here we should uh, point the record to the server IP that we have. So this is the IP that we have. I'll copy it and I will save it in here. It's already added. So here it is the name now of the website, and this it, it will be proxied through Cloudflare to take advantage of their uh, CDN and uh, their free web application firewall. So let's uh, go and do the next thing. So the next thing that we are going to need to to do is to generate an SSL certificate for this thing. So right now the website is pointing to this uh, VPS server. We have the website added to the cloud panel and let's go and generate a new let's encrypt certificate. I will hit create and install. This should generate a certificate for, for us. So right now we see the certificate has been issued. The next thing that we need to do is to point the Nginx to use the dist folder. So Astro it's uh, putting all of the static content into a dist folder. So we need to go into settings, into the novel domain settings root directory and just add on uh, this thing here. You see in here that uh, uh, the web server, it will look into this directory for the index page and other pages that, that we have. So we'll hit save for this. So right now we should have the, the website uh, successfully configured with the SSL and the correct path to our Astro installations that we're gonna, gonna do. Let's see what are the next steps. So. We generated the certificate. The next thing that we'll gonna need to do is to install the Node.js uh, on the 
on the server on on the, in the user that uh, we use for this. So I have here a terminal that we're gonna use to connect to the UPS server. So I will copy the IP address of this thing and I will do SSH like this with root. Okay, let me put yes. So right now we're connected to the VPS. We need to go into the user. This is the user for Zika. And right now we're in the users. The next is that we need to go and do is to delete the website name. So in here we have the HD docs. In here you see that we have the fretzika.row, the domain that we've added. And I will remove this because it will be created with Astro. Okay, so right now we don't have anything in the HD docs folder. Let's go and see what we should do next. So the next thing that we should do is to go and uh, install the node NVM. So this is the NVM install that will allow us to install the node, different node version on, on it. And you see in here that right now this thing is uh, installed. And what we need to do is to go and uh, source this thing because right now the session it will not have the NVM details. Okay. The next thing that we're gonna do is to use the NVM to install the not just TLS. So right now the TLS it is 18, the last one. After it's working with this, so we're gonna use the 18 version for Astro. So right now we have the node installed. Okay, and the next step it will be to add Astro. Where they need this, we remove the directory where the domain it's added. So we have a couple of options to install Astro. We can install it from our existing repository via GitHub. I will let a link in the description. I can link GitHub. Also you have in here an article about this. And the other option is just use uh, NPM to create a new Astro installation. And we're gonna just do that in here because this thing is not connected to any Astro, any GitHub repository. So what we need to do is just go into the HD docs and run this command npm create astro latest and this should create a astro website for us. We hit yes in here. Right now it's installing the things you see in here I could add in a Houston bot and in here we put a project and in here we should put the, exactly the domain that we delete, deleted. And in our case, uh, it's it's like like this. And we double check. Okay, it's like this. Ratsika. I will choose a personal website starter kit because this has also broke a couple of articles that we will check after and see the performance bit of this. So okay, install the dependencies. So yes, let's install everything in here. This process is quite fast and it easy. It is easy to do. I will not want to see the repository. Okay, street. So right now you see that uh, we have the website. Let's go. You have the folder created with the domain again, created with Astro. And if we go in here, we have all the all the packages installed. So this is the default Astro installation. The next thing that we will do is to build this thing. So we should run npm run Astro build, and this will build our website. Okay, so right now uh, the website is building. If we are gonna check the dist, you see that we have in here this folder where all of these things are stored. If we go and check it, you see that you have here the index, the blog, the about page, you have some images, the favicon, and the full things that Astro added. 
So, uh, yeah. And right now, if we're gonna go and check this, let me go and uh, hit this site. I will hit enter. You see that you have the default Astro Block team installed. You have the SSL certificate in here. You see that the SNQ certificate. Well, in this case, it's Cloudflare because we are proxy this uh, website through Cloudflare. And Cloudflare will add its own certificate. So this is the block. So if you go and check the, the block thing, this thing is working. You see that we went there in the block. You have the Mardown style guide in here that will show you the Mardown details. Let's go and first post. And if we're gonna go and check this thing for speed, just to, to see what it's doing. Page speed inside. We should see that the website is quite fast, even if it's hosted in our VPS server. You may want to host it in your own VPS server because you don't have enough resources in the free options that exist. So you see that the website it's quite fast. You see that level of performance, but yeah, this is a light website and also it's a very fast framework that can help you generate static websites. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. In case you liked what you have seen, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. See you in the next video.